Welcome back. If you need a refresher, then check the description for a link. And it is finally time to kill the white whale. As time draws near, the troops line up in formation. The alarm on Subaru's phone goes off and everyone gets tense as they look up to the sky. But nothing happens. After a few seconds, the soldiers start to question the current events. A shadow covers the moon and starts to descend. The whale has arrived. The entire army, including Crochet, is stunned. They were expecting it, but the sheer size of the beast was enough to make them stall. Subaru recovers the quickest. He notices Crochet hasn't called to attack. Afraid the ambush would fail, Subaru yells for Rem to attack. Acting almost simultaneously with the order, she impales the whale with ice. The two charge ahead, ready to play their part as bait. Seeing Subaru charge forward, Crochet comes to her senses and smiles. Troops! Follow those two fools. The Light Novel makes a really interesting point here. Crochet and the rest of the army trust Subaru, but not like 100%. It's always possible that he's wrong or lying or something. So whenever it takes a few seconds for the whale to show up, they start to doubt. And because they start to doubt, they're not ready whenever the whale actually shows up. Rem, on the other hand, trusts Subaru too much. <laughs> she started getting that spell ready as soon as the alarm started to go off. Because to her, if Subaru said it's going to happen, then it's going to happen. That's why both of them are the first ones off the line. The cannons fire beams of magic, hitting the whale before it can figure out what's happening. Subaru and Rem run around the whale to draw its attention away from the army. A magic device called the Night Banisher is used to light up the sky. Even though it's late at night, the battlefield looks clear as day. The Light Novel calls it Night Repel, but I mean, you, you get the gist of what it does. In the first arc, whenever Subaru goes into the loot house, he uses a magic crystal to create light so that he can see. So this is basically like a whole bunch of those just smashed together in order to make a giant version or something like that. I don't know. I don't know the science behind magic crystals. The light lasts for about an hour. I think it's actually a little bit under an hour. That's pretty much their time limit for killing the whale. It's not like they can't kill it if it's dark, but it's less likely that they'll be able to. And honestly, it's not really going to matter, but we'll <laughs> see in a minute. <laughs> Subaru knew of the whale's size, but seeing it in this light was still frightening. He compares it to the blue whale, which is the largest whale on Earth. We've measured the largest at around 29.9 meters or 98 feet. Don't ask me how they got that measurement. I'm not about to look it up. <laughs> Subaru estimates that the white whale is 165 feet. Imagine the largest animal on Earth and then add another two-thirds to it. It's fucking massive, <laughs> along with all the other shit that it can do. The whale notices the black dragon and dives for them. Before it gets close, a slash hits its face. You greatly underestimate us if you think you can look away so carelessly. Rem explains. The intangible sword, without regard for range, that is Crochet's sword art, famous for its 100-man strike. The anime has her sword glow, but in the light novel, she doesn't even use a sword. She just kind of makes the motion and a blade of wind goes out. As the name suggests, this attack can kill a lot of people all at once. It's a combination of sword skill, wind magic, and her divine protection of wind reading. She can pretty much hit anything that she can see, but the further away something is, the easier it is for it to dodge it. Magic cannon fire bombards the whale. It dives low, scraping the ground to swallow the army. They disperse to avoid the beast, all but Wilhelm. For fourteen years, I have dreamed of nothing but this day. Fall here, and leave your corpse behind. When the whale gets close, he strikes. He jumps on its back and begins to run, digging his sword in as blood sprays out. The anime makes it seem like he is very serious at this moment, but the light novel says that he's laughing. A malevolent laugh, to be precise. Which I think makes a little more sense for the sword demon. He is laughing while he cuts up the thing that he's been hunting for years. The whale flies up, twisting and turning, trying to fling him off. It finally succeeds, and Wilhelm falls. An earth dragon catches him and starts to run away. The whale chases, but another challenger closes in. Ricardo slices its mouth, knocking out a tooth in the process. 
The rest of the Iron Fang comes in for close range attacks. The whale has a massive weakness. It has no way of defending itself against the attackers hanging on to it. All hands move away. As the Iron Fang retreats, Crochet fires another cut, placing its side. Immediately after, magic users send fire spells to engulf the beast. Platinum actually has this as one giant fireball. All the magic users just came together to cast one powerful spell. But the anime shows that each person just kind of sends their own spell and they all hit the whale at once. I have no idea why they decided to change it, but the end result's the same. I've kept closer to the anime, but the Lightning has a different feel to it. In the anime, the whale kind of reacts and tries to counter. In the light novel, they attack in quick succession, and like one right after the other, and they don't leave the whale much time to really react. I don't think it makes a big difference, it's not going to change anything in the story, but it just feels more like a surprise attack in the light novel. Subaru is hopeful, but Rem is worried. Even after all that, the whale still flies. We had hoped that that attack would ground it. It's not losing altitude at all. We used all of our best attacks right from the get-go. If that didn't make it fall, it's a lot tougher than we thought. The whale has fine little hairs that disperse magic. So what they are trying to do, and the light novel explains this, they are trying to burn away those little hairs so that the other magic attacks have more of an effect. It's a pretty good plan. The Iron Fang goes back in for round two. Acting as a decoy now would cause more harm than good. Felix rides up beside them. I feel just as irritated as you. I don't even have any attacks, so watching is all I can do in the first place. But your healing specialty makes you our lifeline. All you have to do is fulfill that role for us. We're counting on you. You've really changed in just a day, huh? What happened? If I had to say, I've just become a slightly better man. In the light novel, he says, I've become a bit more of a man. And Felix immediately jumps to, oh, Rem's made a man out of you, huh, huh, wink, wink. <laughs> Clearly asking if they fucked. And <laughs> they're in the middle of a life or death battle right now, and Felix makes time to go fuck with Subaru. <laughs> Wilhelm gets back on the whale and begins sprinting around with a sword digging into its back. He doesn't slow down once he reaches the head, jumping off and falling to the earth. Before he reaches the ground, Ricardo cuts off his path. He turns his cleaver sideways, allowing Wilhelm to use it as a footstool. The combined force of Ricardo's swing and Wilhelm's jump sends him flying back at the whale. He aims for its left eye and cuts around it, causing it to fall completely out of socket and then to the ground. Wilhelm then uses the eye to cushion his fall, stabbing his sword into it. In the anime, he just makes one cut. It's just one circle around the eye. In the light novel, he uses four different swords. He sticks two of them directly in the eye and just like leaves them in there. And then he uses two other swords to cut a square around the eye. I think he went in with six swords for this fight. I don't know. He uses multiple in both versions. He just sticks them in the whale and leaves them there randomly. <laughs> like, hey, hold this. <laughs> the other eye turns blood red as its anger builds. Openings appear around its body and it lets out a deafening scream. A sound that seems to scratch at the soul. Mist shoots out from the opening and blots out the fake sun the army had created. The whale, also known as the Demon Beast of Mist, has finally acknowledged them as a threat. The real battle begins now. The surprise attack worked, it just wasn't enough. I don't think they underestimated the whale. I think they hoped that the surprise attack would bring it down, but they didn't think it would really be that easy. They brought Felix along because they thought it was going to get bad at some point. And that point is now. <laughs> the white whale launches a counterattack. Subaru and Rem run as Crochet yells for the troops to retreat. In the fog, Subaru can hear screaming. The dragon jumps out of the way a split second before a jet stream of mist shoots by. That's why the whale is also called the Demon Beast of Mist. The two big abilities that it uses that people know about are covering the entire area in fog to hide itself and concentrating the mist into a blast that evaporates anything it hits. Crochet is able to clear the air around her and the troops regroup. About 21 people are missing and Subaru notices something. 
Some of the leaders report that they don't know who is missing amongst their own group. That's when it hits him. The white whale's attack causes people to vanish from existence, along with any memories others have of them. That's what happened to Rem in the last loop. Wilhelm and the Iron Fang finally arrive. They were closest to the whale, but are mostly unharmed. The Light Novel has an extra scene here. They use anti-magic crystals to help clear up the fog. Apparently the fog is the whale's mana, so using this crystal helps to return that mana back to its colorless or natural state. It doesn't completely get rid of the fog, it just kind of dissipates it enough for them to see, which they don't want to completely get rid of it, because if they do, it might mess with their own magic. A high-pitched scream is heard, and the troops begin to go mad. Some of them claw at their own face, others bang their head on the ground. Rim says it's an attack that is similar to mana sickness. This is the real effects of the fog. It's the whale's mana. It's trying to force its mana into any living thing that's in the fog. Quick refresher, mana sickness is when your body can't get rid of excess mana and it starts to break your soul, literally. And that's pretty much what's happening here. Some people can resist the attack a little better than others. Probably the magic users as they can kind of get rid of the excess mana. But if they can't get rid of the mana, then they're pretty fucked, unless they get out of the fog. Subaru is somehow not affected by this at all, which I think actually shows how fucked his gate is. He can't even be forced to absorb a lot of mana at once. <laughs> or there could be some other reason, but I think that makes the most sense. Felix begins to heal those affected. Crochet orders them to be taken to the Great Tree. If nothing else is done, then the whale may come and attack everyone while they're defenseless. It's time for Subaru to perform his job as bait. He jumps back on the dragon as he yells his plan to Cruchet. Before she can object, they start to run off. I'll return by death. Subaru is hit with the magic time-stopping hands. I really need to come up with a name for this event. Grabby hands? Bitch lap? Yeah, we'll have to workshop this. <laughs> I'll see if I can come up with something better. <laughs> The anime shows half a face, and it's pretty much assumed to be the Witch of Envy. You can very clearly see her say, I steru, which is, I love you. And that's what it says in the light novel. So my guess is that the anime just didn't want to give the Witch a voice just yet. <laughs> the light novel has Subaru react with tears and longing. He feels love whenever he hears her voice. And that fades as he goes back to normal. He doesn't remember the voice, and he doesn't remember the feelings that he had. This has to hint at something. It goes into the theories that Subaru and Amelia are from the past, or maybe they go into the past and something happens or something, and I'm very clearly trying not to go into it. <laughs> it's good evidence for all of the theories that I don't want to be true. <laughs> Real quick difference. The anime has him tell the plan to crochet, but in the light novel he just tells the plan to some random soldiers. I'm back. Well, Rem, do I smell like the witch? Yes, you reek. That's what I wanted, but did you have to say it that way? They ride away from the group, waiting for any sign of the whale. It suddenly pops out through the fog in front of them, mouth open, ready to swallow them whole. Rem is able to knock it away with magic, but they don't make it very far before it's caught back up. Before it can attack again, Wilhelm falls from the sky and lands an attack on the whale's face. He moves out of the way in time for Mimi and Hetero to continue the assault. Their screams turn into concentrated shockwaves that drive into the same cut Wilhelm just made. Ricardo joins Wilhelm on the whale, cutting up the openings that were used to spray mist. It's sturdier than expected, but it's not that strong. No, it's putting up less of a fight than it should. I find it hard to believe that this witch fiend got the better of my wife, a sword saint. Ah, uh, there's a reason for that, but it's not discussed now, so I won't discuss it either. But I did want to point it out. <laughs> the whale manages to shake off the attackers, heading straight upwards. For a moment they stop, waiting in the fog for the next attack. A blast of mist comes raining down from the sky. In panic, everyone tries to dodge, but they are still sent flying. As Wilhelm lands, the whale appears behind him. With no time to react, he is swallowed whole. 
Subaru is shocked and doesn't react in time for the next attack. Ricardo arrives just in time and knocks him out of the way. Subaru recognizes the voice of his savior, but when he looks back, all he sees is blood. Wilhelm was swallowed. Ricardo exploded. The worst was yet to come. The attacks happened too quickly after each other. Subaru looks up to see the issue. There was no longer one whale. There, in the sky above them, three whales were flying. In the light novel, the whale actually eats Wilhelm and his dragon. In the anime, they throw him off so that the dragon is safe. Actually, they probably just wanted him to see a flower right before getting swallowed so that they could cut back over to the flashback. The sound of clinking fills the air as swords are dropped to the ground. The bravado that the army had was gone. They weren't even able to kill one, but now there are three. Wilhelm was eaten. Ricardo was down. A large portion of the army was down from the mana sickness. The tides had turned, and hopelessness was setting in. Subaru breaks the silence. Don't let it swallow him. If we free him before he gets swallowed, we can save him. Rem attacks, slamming the iron ball into the whale's head. She free falls towards the ground before being caught by Subaru. Don't think a little bit of despair is enough to stop me. Giving up doesn't suit us. Not me, not you, not any of us. I feel like all the loops before this beg to differ. <laughs> but it's a nice little callback to their conversation earlier. Rem continues her assault on the whale that swallowed Wilhelm, leaving Subaru with the dragon. Subaru can tell the dragon is working hard to accommodate his lack of experience. At this point, he decides to name the dragon Patroche. Well, it's Patorashu in Japanese, which turned into Patlash for the light novel and Patroche for the English dub. I'm going with Patroche because I like that more. <laughs> All these French ass names. <laughs> Subaru goes under the whale causing it to turn its attention from Rem. The only one who can sniff Subaru is me. Rem drives her weapon into the side of the whale, and Subaru is able to get away. He turns to face forward in time to see the giant mouth of another whale. A long-range slice causes the whale to miss. What do you think, Subaru? Does nothing seem strange to you? If it was actually a witch fiend that lives in a group, how could we not know about that till now? There must be some trick behind it. She goes to attack one of the whales, and the other goes after Subaru. Mimi and Hetero attack just in time to save him. They tell him that Ricardo is alive, but he has to be healed. He also sent a message. Hey, it's getting a lot lighter. The fact that I didn't die proves that. It's even more apparent in the light novel, but they put a lot of trust in Subaru coming up with a plan. Crochet comes over to talk to him about why there's three whales, and then two lieutenants come to protect him while he's coming up with something. I have no idea why everyone thinks Subaru is smart. <laughs> Part of it has to be the meeting that he set up with everyone to get this whole thing rolling. And I think they have the wrong impression of Subaru. <laughs> I am partially kidding. He is a little slow on the uptake, but he does eventually come up with decent plans. Or stupid plans that somehow work. <laughs> there is another reason they put so much trust in Subaru. The soldiers had pretty much given up. Mentally, they couldn't handle the situation that they were in. Subaru yelling had helped them kind of snap out of it. They don't just get up and immediately go back to fighting, but it does help to pull them out of their despair. Crochet, Mimi, and Hetero see this. They see that he is giving everyone motivation and strength, so they put more trust in him. Mimi even gives him a compliment for working so hard, and Subaru completely disagrees. He doesn't say anything to them, but he doesn't think highly of himself. He knows all the shit that he's gone through just to get to this point, and all those failures makes it hard for him to accept the compliment. I also think the light novel does a better job with the Iron Fang. Hetero straight up tells Subaru that if he doesn't have a plan, he's taking Mimi and leaving. They're, they'll fight for money, but if there's no chance of surviving, then there's no point in fighting. Subaru racks his brain, trying to find a solution to their problems. He looks at the whale nearby, and he makes a realization. It's missing its left eye. The other whale is also missing the same eye. That's it. I get it. Rem slams her iron ball into the whale as Mimi and Hetero jump and attack the same spot. A hole opens up, and Wilhelm bursts through. 
He is alive, but he's out of the fight for now. In the anime, he completely passes out, but in the light novel, they have to force him to stop fighting. He is almost dead, and he is still trying to go fight more. <laughs> They do eventually talk him into taking a Liger back and getting healed from Felix. We also get Mimi showing off her magic by creating earth walls that block the mist attacks. And the anime skips over a lot of these little fight scenes. Honestly, I've been skipping over them too. For the most part, they're not that important. But I like Mimi, so I'm giving her a little more praise. <laughs> With Wilhelm free, Subaru and Rem join Crochet to reveal his plan. It divided? Yeah, the strength decreasing and the left eye missing convinced me. I do agree that those are weaker than the one we engaged. But what good does knowing this do? Killing three whales is much easier said than done. We don't have to kill all three. Just one should be enough. That bastard's been making its two doubles fight while it hangs around up there watching. What do you think it's doing that for? That's the real one? Subaru has an idea to get the real one into the fight and Crochet will pin it to the ground so it can be killed. Rem is strongly against the plan, but she eventually gives in. While Subaru and Rem get ready, Crochet rallies the troops. Stand up. Lift your heads. Look at that boy. He is so weak and fragile, a breath could blow him away. And he's unarmed. He's weaker than anyone else here. Yet he's shouting louder than anyone that we can still do this. If our weakest man has not given up, how can we bow down and accept defeat? Did you all come this far to wallow in your own shame? One by one they stand, with renewed fire in their eyes. They grab their weapons and prepare for the last stand. Yes, you Subaru is a punching bag. <laughs> I'm kidding. She pretty much says it herself. She's just using shame to motivate the soldiers to actually get up and do something. And it works. The speech is given earlier in the light novel. Right after the three whales show up and Crochet saves Subaru, they talk and then she goes and gives this speech to everybody. I think that version makes a little more sense. She sees that the army is in shambles and immediately gives a speech to help get them back into the fight rather than waiting until they have a plan. And then that way they can actually help fight off the two whales while Subaru is coming up with something. At this point they are down from over 200 to about 50. And while they're okay in holding their own at the moment, people are still dying. So they're not going to last forever. The line novel makes a point to explain this. Subaru sees people dying and he forces himself to not look away. He didn't kill them, but he is the reason they are there. He chose this fight. And he thinks that if he starts to run away from that now, he might let shame take over and go back to who he was before. The Light Novel has a lot of these moments, showing Subaru's struggle with wanting to run away and wanting to push forward. And I'm really glad they're there. It's just something that can't be done well in the anime. Rem gathers a large amount of mana, forming it into a massive ice shard. She fires it at the main body, but given the amount of prep and travel time, it's well aware of the attack. It easily moves so the ice misses, but that was the plan. Subaru now stands on the horn, ready to enact his plan to bring down the whale. Just so you know, I'm notorious for being so annoying that no one can ignore me. He jumps, falling straight towards the earth. Listen up, it's because of you that Rem died and I experienced such horrible trauma. Time stops, and the voice whispers in his ear again. As Subaru returns to normal, the witch's scent is fresh on him. The main body can't ignore it and dives towards Subaru. One little theme that's in the light novel throughout this entire fight is the whale's intelligence. Subaru doesn't know if the whale is acting on instinct or if it's actually smart enough to know how to fuck with the army. If it's intelligent, then there's a chance that this fails. It might be attracted to the witch's scent, but if it recognizes what Subaru is doing and doesn't follow, then the plan fails and they probably all die. Luckily, it is going on instinct. <laughs> Another thing from the light novel that I haven't mentioned yet when he did this earlier around people, he told them all to cover their ears. Here, he points out that no one important is around. The last time this activated, it killed Amelia. And Subaru doesn't know that if someone hears him talk about return by death, if they will also die. So he's trying to be careful. As it gets close, 
Rem fires another ice shard into the whale and grabs Subaru using her chains. Now flying straight towards Rem, he lands with his face in her chest. You saved me. Thank you for the treat. What, what are you talking about? Yes, it is important that I included that. <laughs> the main body is slowed for a moment, but continues to chase. Suddenly, explosions erupt around the base of the tree. Flugel's tree, the massive landmark that has stood for hundreds of years, falls right on top of the whale. Now that it can't move, Wilhelm steps forward. This is for my wife, Tricia von Astrea. With a flurry of slashes, the whale dies. The whale clones disappear. The battle has been won. Tricia, I... I love you. Real quick, the only real difference is the whale clones don't immediately disappear in the light novel. Crochet cuts one in half and a magic cannon blows another one to bits. And the results are pretty much the same. They're dealt with pretty quickly after the main body. Also, the sword that Wilhelm uses to finish off the whale is actually Crochet's sword. I guess he used up all of his swords during the fights and she let him borrow hers. But more importantly, Subaru gets a win. And this is something that no one else has been able to do ever. <laughs> This is a huge win for the entire world. And sure, it was at the cost of the great flugel tree, but I feel like most people would agree that it's well worth that price. And whoever blew up the tree, whoever did the timing for it, is a fucking genius. Either that, or they are really lucky, because I feel like that is an easy miss that dooms the entire plan. <laughs> and as per normal anime rules, a lot of people died, but no one important did. <laughs> Okay, seriously, this is a great first step for Subaru, but there is still more that needs to be done. So next time we'll see the aftermath of this fight and the plan to deal with the witch cult. See ya. Ignoring the spelling on this, this comment has lived rent-free in my head for years, so I feel obligated to include it here. Be Japanese. Land in another world. Still hunts whales. <laughs>